Hello everyone, if you are traveling to Germany, make sure you watch this video. I will show you everything you need to know for your trip, including which mistakes you should definitely avoid. We're going to start with an overview. I'll tell you which sites not to miss and what you need to consider when it comes to weather. I'll also suggest how to get around, whether by train, bus or car and give you some tips how to avoid high prices. And finally, I'd like to help you understand German culture and its particularities and give you a few tips to make your stay here great or wunderbar. Let's get started. Germany is in the center of Europe and shares borders with Denmark, Poland, the Czech Republic, Austria, Switzerland, France, the Netherlands, Luxembourg and Belgium. It is approximately 360,000 square kilometers in size. Around 84 million people live here. Germany is divided into 16 federal states, including the city-states of Berlin, Hamburg and Bremen. The largest states are Bavaria, Lower Saxony, North Rhine-Westphalia and Baden-Württemberg. The four largest cities are Berlin, Hamburg, Munich and Cologne. The landscape is very diverse and you can get everything from beaches to mountains. Don't miss Germany's many castles, fortresses and ruins as well as its charming half-timbered houses. And here are five must-sees to choose from. Don't miss that! Berlin is not just the capital. It's the best place to start a trip through Germany since it unites history with art, nightlife and more. It has some stunning sites to visit, such as the Brandenburg Gate, the Museum Island or the famous TV Tower. Go up north to discover the beauty of Germany's North Sea and Baltic Sea and to visit Hamburg, Germany's second largest city. Don't leave out the western part of Germany with Cologne and its stunning cathedral. Munich in the south is like a big village. It may be the city with the most traditional feeling in Germany. Good to know, it's the perfect gateway to spend a day in the Alps. Last but not least, don't miss Dresden in the east. It has a rich history with absolutely beautiful architecture. When is the best time of year to travel to Germany? Well, it depends on what you want, because some world-famous events like Carnival and Oktoberfest Cheers! are happening at specific times. But let's check the weather first. In summer, you can walk around in shorts and a t-shirt. On some days, it can get really hot. In spring and fall, be prepared to wear pants, sweaters and light jackets. In winter, temperatures can drop below zero degrees and it can snow, so don't forget to pack warm clothes. Fall can be grey and kind of sad, but on some days, like today, the trees shine with color in the sun. If you come in the fall from mid-September to the beginning of October, don't miss the largest folk festival in the world, the Oktoberfest in Munich. The best way to immerse yourself in Bavarian tradition. And in winter, in late November and December, you can visit the country's charming Christmas markets. It's such a cozy time in Germany. Skiers can have a blast exploring the country's mountains. And in February, many cities celebrate carnival. You'll see thousands of people wearing costumes and celebrating on the streets or in clubs and bars. In spring, nature comes alive and it's a great time to explore Germany's parks. My tip, the flower island of Mainau at Lake Constance. But what is the best way to get to all these highlights that are spread around the country? To drive from north to south easily takes you 10 hours, so you can also fly if you're short on time. But yes, of course, there are more sustainable ways to travel. For shorter distances, take the train, bus or rent a car. In Germany, people drive on the right side of the road. And it's true, often, but not always, there is no speed limit on the Autobahn, Germany's highway. In urban areas, speed limits are around 50 or 30 km per hour. Let's talk about Germany's train system. There are different types of trains. The ICE and IC high-speed trains connect the major cities and travel at speeds of up to 300 km per hour. Local trains, 
such as the Regional Express, are cheaper, but of course much slower. Also important for you to know, local and long distance transport in Germany is based on trust, so there are no turnstiles you have to pass to get to the train tracks. And please don't forget that some tickets have to be validated before your journey. There are inspectors who walk through the trains and control your ticket. It's best to pay for your tickets via apps or online, but there are also ticket machines like this beauty here. They take both cards and cash. My tip, don't book your tickets too late. No. Taking a fast train from Berlin to Munich can cost you less than 40 euros if you book some days in advance. If not, it can easily cost you around 140 euros or even more. If a train is really late, you can claim part of the ticket price in the app or via a form. This might be interesting for you. The Deutschland ticket was introduced in May 2023. It's valid for a month, so it's worthwhile if you're traveling around the country for longer. The ticket allows you to use all local public transportation in Germany. But you'll have to sign up for a subscription, so don't forget to cancel it when you leave the country. It costs just 49 euros per month. And this is what you need to know about the local public transport system. Larger cities are typically divided into zones. In Berlin it's A, B, C. When you buy a ticket, check in advance which zone your destination is in, since the prices differ accordingly. How can you move around? There are trams, buses, subways and suburban trains, depending how large the cities are. Alternatively, you can rent a bike or an e-scooter. What about taxis? You can book taxis in the big cities with various apps. You can be certain you won't be ripped off since the drivers go based on the meter or the price previously set in the app. Now you know how to get around Germany. But what about accommodation? There is something for every price range. You can stay in a cheap hostel, rent a vacation apartment, a mid-range hotel or guest house or a luxury hotel. Did you know? Germans love camping. There are many campsites in Germany where you can spend your vacation close to nature for a reasonable price. How safe is Germany actually? Germany is generally a safe country. Nevertheless, it's a good idea to always keep an eye on your bags. Theft can happen. Speaking of theft, Germans love their cash. The currency here is the euro. And please don't make the mistake of not having some euros on you because many restaurants and bars don't take card. Whether you pay with card or cash, in Germany you usually tip around 10% in restaurants. The waiter or waitress will tell you the amount and you then tell him or her the total price, including tip that you would like to pay. For example, if you have a bill of 46 euros, you would say 50 euros. If you're traveling through Germany, it's helpful to know some particularities of German culture to avoid misunderstandings. Some cultural peculiarities are regional, while others can be found throughout the country. For example, don't let Germans wait for you too long. They generally like punctuality. Let your date know if you're more than five minutes late. Ooh, mistake! When you meet someone new, it's best to shake their hand formally. But friends usually hug. Taking care of the environment is very important to Germans. So don't leave anything on the streets. Germans hate that. You need to separate waste, for example, into bins for paper and plastic. Bottles and cans are recycled. You pay a deposit for them. You'll usually find this symbol on those bottles. You get the money back returning it, so don't throw it away. That's so German! Despite certain similarities, each region is unique. In the north, the people you meet may tend to be a bit more reserved than in the south. And the dialects also differ. German food varies as much as the country's traditions. In the north, you'll find plenty of fish. While the south has many hearty dishes, bakeries in Germany have a large selection to choose from, including many different types of bread and rolls. My tip, try them all.
In Germany, the people drink a lot of beer and wine. And they make it too. There are 13 wine growing regions in Germany. They are also great destinations for day trips. By the way, take note that it is legal to drink beer and wine at the age of 16. I just love beer. Finally, here's a little language guide for your trip. When you greet someone, you can say Hallo or Hi any time of the day. It's Guten Morgen in the morning, Guten Tag during the day and Guten Abend in the evening. If you want to say thank you, you can say Danke or Dankeschön. And if you want to speak to someone or you accidentally bump into someone, you just say Entschuldigung. Prost. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you on your trip to Germany.